I said this is the most exciting way to catch them, but it's also crazy because you have to remain calm because if you are hyper like I am, you'll rip the bait right out of the fish's yeah. And I have learned a long time ago little tricks to help myself remain calm. Most of the time when I'm fishing soft top water like this, I try to fish it with my rod tip up. And that's for a reason. Because now when that fish hits, I have to drop and set the hook. It's just a dummy trick for dummies like me. It gives me that extra split second that sometimes it takes to get a hook into those fish. Because a lot of times when you fire that bait up there and you feel that, see that big that could just be the fish rolling out. Look what it's got to come through, all these weeds and around stumps and slop and all sorts of things. So a lot of times that fish actually misses the bait the first time. So as soon as you see that explosion, feel for the fish, just like you would if you didn't see the explosion. You know, if you're throwing any other bait and you're just going on feel, that's what you want to do here. There he is. Oh, another good one. Another big one. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Oh, dude. Easy. <laughs> are you through? I don't think you are. Come here. I don't know why I messed around. I really just pumped your butt in. But I'm being kind today. Smoke that little field mouse. Look at that. I'm just a helpless little field mouse. Just swimming along. <laughs> You know, this dude right here is a prime example of why you have to tie that loop knot. You know, a fish that hits in the middle of the slop, I mean, it just kind of sees that bait going across. But this fish hit at the edge. As soon as that bait started to walk, this dude ate it. Awesome. Look at the yap on that thing. These things are designed to eat these tiny little field mice. Awesome, awesome. Mouse eating machine. Mm. I love it. Awesome.